so today I am so excited. <laughs> today I am going to be doing a video on the new L'Oreal foundation sticks. They also have new highlighting sticks and a blush sticks and new primer shots. So I'm going to be trying out a bunch today because I was um, I recently went to the uh, kind of like launch event for this um, makeup collection and it was so so cool like there was neon lights everywhere they had like little presentations um i had a ton of fun there but it was really nice and i got a bunch of goodies to try out and um, they do i only have two of the primers they do have other ones which i'll roughly talk about but i just felt like they weren't right for my skin type so i just grabbed the ones that i thought could work for me but before we head on to the rest of this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe if you're new to my channel and also don't forget to hit that bell button so you can get notified as soon as I post. And I'll actually be doing post notification shout outs now. So uh, make sure to hit that bell button and then from my next video I'll be doing post notification shout outs. I am bare face right now. By the way, my brows are all L'Oreal. And my mascara is the Paradise Ecstatic Mascara in case some of you will ask. I have all these sticks here. They look so cool. Like I'm so excited about this video. You can't I can't even hold my excitement. These are all the shades I have. And for primers, I have the Infallible Luminizing Primer. And I also have the Infallible Anti-Fatigue Primer. I'm gonna go straight onto the swatches of every product. foundations highlighter and blushes so looking at the swatches now i actually don't have an exact color for myself um like i feel like i'm a shade in between 200 and 210 so i'm probably gonna have to mix the two they do jump a lot between the foundation shades and i don't have all of them there were a ton of pale shades as always um but there weren't that many darker shades I am just a bit confused because on the Laura website they say that they're shaping sticks, which is fine, but it does also say foundation on the stick as well. Um, and it says that it's highly pigmented, creamy formula, super blendable, super buildable, 24 hour long lasting wear, available in 12 shades. And I feel like 12 shades is not, not good enough. In my opinion it's a bit different if you're going to call it like shaping sticks because it's more like highlight and contour. And then if you want, you can kind of use it as foundation if you have your shade. But if you're going to call it a foundation, um, I think 12 shades is not enough. And there's like, again, three brown shades. I think it's... So for like the brown shades, I think honey, cappuccino and caramel would be your brown shades. And that is like pushing it because honey is quite light. Like it's quite fair. It's very similar to my Tarte Shape Tape in Tan San actually. Um, and then you've got one deep colour, which is espresso. There you go, Give the, it's either mahogany or espresso, like always. Um, although I love L'Oreal, and they did an amazing job on the True Match, like they did such a good job with shades. I personally can't get along with that foundation anymore because it just doesn't sit on my skin right and the concealer was not good for me either. I do have a review on them if you guys want to check it out, but personally for me, it didn't work for my skin. But to have like one deep shade, I'm just like, what the hell's going on? How can you have one deep colour? Like, I would say 75% of the shades are pale shades. So I don't know. I don't know what, why do brands do that? You, if you're going to have 12 shades, can you not have like a pure, like beautiful gradient? I mean, I don't think that's a good shade range if it is a foundation. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I do take shade range very seriously because I, when I, even though it's lovely that I got invited to the event and stuff, but when I got to the desk, I was like, where's my colour? 
I only see um, pale shades here. But when I went to the other side, I saw like a few of the deeper shades. I'm gonna see if the product works, but again, that is a downside for me personally, the shade range. I'm going to use the shade 200 and 210 because I'm either, because I'm gonna quickly swatch them. So this is, so this is Honey. It's very like neutral. Like if I were to put this on my face, it will be very, very gray. <laughs> and then the one above 210, which is Cappuccino. Like that is such a big jump. Basically, they have four deeper shades, and it's basically 200, 210, 220, and 240, which is honey, cappuccino, caramel, and espresso. I don't know what to think about that, honestly. Like, you can't put foundation on the tip and then have 12 shades, and then three brown shades and one deep shade. Like, what? 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 Oh, are we? Are we? Are we in 1987? I don't know. You tell me. Oh, I, I, am I the only one that's seeing this shade range or am I going mad? I don't know. And I don't, I'm not being mean. I'm not judging. I'm not like, it doesn't mean like I hate L'Oreal. I just feel like they need to up their game on shade range because we're in 2018 and how can you have like a full range of foundation? Because that's what it says on the thing, on the packaging and only have 12 shades. I don't know. Like, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be a real big shame if the foundation is really good, like really, really good, and not everyone can buy it. Like, I have to buy, I have to buy two shades, basically. If I wanted to use this foundation, I would have had bought, I would have to have bought the 200 and 210, but then I'm very blessed and I'm very grateful that I got to go to the event and... Uh, I was given these products to try out and make a video on it and share it with you guys I'm very grateful for that but I am here to be honest with you guys whether it's given to me free or not I will always be honest and this is not my I just know I don't think that's good enough in my eyes so okay do you know what I'm just gonna blend 200 and 210 together blended that out and that blended so seamlessly blended like a dream I did want to try like put some because that's why I got the blush to kind of color correct with it so I'm going to do the same on the other side I just put a bunch of honey I tried to blend honey there, I mean it's okay but it is a bit on the ashy side. And I'm just going to put a bit of cappuccino. I'm just taking my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and I'm just going to buff that in. Once I mix the two colours together, they're perfect, like it's a perfect colour. Guys, look how flawless that looks. That is flawless. And the blush works so nice as a colour corrector. Oh, I love that. Just a little close up. It's very hydrating, but it doesn't look oily. 
So the lady did explain that it's got jojoba oil or yojoba, yojoba oil. I don't know how to say it. Jojoba? Jojoba oil. <laughs> um, it's got oil in it, but it has a powder base. So it's going to be hydrating and not dry your skin out, but it's going to make you oily. So people with oily skin can still wear it. So it's basically a foundation for everyone. I'm going to go in with just honey on its own and just use that as a highlight shade and then I'm gonna go in with espresso espresso is really dark <laughs> Let's see if I can work with this. I'm gonna go in with caramel for my nose. It's not doing bad. It's definitely blending very, very easily, like not harsh, not patchy. Like, look at that, it's just effortless. I'm actually shook. Okay, so that's what the full base looks like. And I've just realized I didn't put my primer. My primer. Why am I so dumb? Like, why? What I'm going to do, I'm going to be right back, I'm going to take half of it off and we're going to try the primers because I'm not going to do this video without trying the new primer shots. Look at that, that's no makeup and that's with makeup. Flawless. So first we've got the anti-fatigue primer. They're very like watery, like can you see that? That's definitely like a light peach colour. And then we've got the luminizing primer and we're going to... I don't know why I forgot to, I was just so excited to put like the foundation that I completely forgot about the primers, but that's the luminizing one. It's very, very illuminating. I'm gonna try and put... I actually discovered that I don't really like to put luminizing products under my skin, especially when they're very intense, like the iconic London ones. But this one is actually blending really nicely, like it's super subtle. Can you see that? So it's giving a subtle, like from within kind of glow. So I kind of like that. Like I would definitely use that. So I'm also going to use some of the peachy one under my eyes. Oh, I like the peachy one. I really like primers that feel like lotion. And this one is really nice. Instantly, I love the peachy one. I'm just going to put it on top of the luminizing one. And do the foundation again. I'm just going to touch up both eyes. And I'm just going to use my regular powder that I use to set my under eyes. Because it's a very like, dewy foundation, I am going to set it with powder. So it's still wet here, I'm just going to try and put some of the primer. Ideally do this before you put your powder, but I just, the excitement is so real, like I'm just doing everything upside down today. So this is the... Highlighter stick in the gold is cold 502. This is a really pretty gold color So would I use this highlighter again? I think I would because it's very subtle It's like a 
kind of in a glow subtle if you like a beaming highlight then probably don't go for this but they build so well even though i put powder it's not like separating the foundation or anything like it's going really really pretty okay i can say that i really like that the highlight is really cute and i'm gonna use the blush my finger this one's called rosy nude That's one time with blush and the other with an out. Right, so that's what my base looks like. I think it looks absolutely flawless. It feels really nice. It's not heavy. It's not cakey. It's not drying me out. The only thing I have to say, it's a bit more on the shiny side. But I have, even on the non-primer side, like it's very luminous. Even though I put powder, which is a bit weird. I'm going to be right back and I'll let you know what I think. Right, I just quickly finished the rest of my makeup. I did put a bit more bronzer because I felt like I needed a bit more colour to my skin. But that's it really. Can you see like how luminous my skin looks? This side especially compared to this side because I think it's, I had the illuminizing primer underneath. But I'm not mad at it. Like it looks really healthy, really useful. Like it looks really nice. The question is would I use this again based on what I can see now? yes it feels really good i mean apart from the shade range um the formula is so beautifully soft and blendable um they actually i don't know if it's me but they smell kind of nice as well my brush smelled nice um you know me that like when stuff smell nice i really like that so that's a thumbs up for me um but they blended so easily the bl i'm actually so shocked at the blendability like they blended so nice it makes your skin look so nice. It's got medium to full coverage, I would say, because it's covered everything on my face, especially my pigmentation. Even without the when I removed the foundation and put it back on, I didn't put color corrector there, and it still looks really flawless. Here's just a little close up for you guys, but I am loving it. I'm loving it so much. It's not made my skin look really dry or cakey. Um, it doesn't make my skin look really, really bumpy either, which I like. I've, I've got kind of a lot of skin texture at the moment. So I'm overall really happy with the f formula so far. The only issue I have is the shade range. Like if they had a few more, because this is quite dark for me. Like I, even though it blended really nicely, I still think it's a bit dark um as a contour stick for me and i can't use the other shades because they're more like a bronzer color for me um so i could bronze with the darker shades like caramel or cappuccino but with espresso it could be a bit dark so i definitely think they should improve with like their deeper shades and their brown shades but they only have one deep shade so definitely needs an improvement on that side um like maybe like more golden ones for people who don't really have this deep of a color like that's amazing that they have this colour but there's not all people with deeper complexions have this foundation colour. There's golden tones, neutral tones, um, cooler undertones, reddish undertones. So I think they could do with like more shades in the deeper spectrum but, and, and they also do need a few more in between colours for the brown shades. A bit more yellow shades as well because honey is quite neutral. Um, but that is my opinion on the shade range. But apart from that, the foundation is so, so good. And it's such a shame because not everyone's going to be able to find their colour. And not and some people are going to have to buy two shades. But do you really want to spend your time like mixing two colours in the morning? Or if you're in a rush? Like, I personally don't really do that. Like, you see me do, get ready and stuff. I always use one foundation. I really don't like mixing. I just don't know. My big downside is the shade range, but the formula is amazing. But anyways, it's now 10... I would say 10.30. It's gone past 10.30, but we'll say 10.30 um, in the morning. So I'm going to wear this for a few hours. And then I'll come back later on and give you my final thoughts. And we'll see. This is the real question. We'll see what this actually looks after like a few hours. Okay, guys, I'm now back. I look like a wreck, don't I? Um, it's now 5 something in the afternoon. I'm trying to find some lip gloss. Don't even have any lip gloss. 
it's been like I don't know like six hours we can say six or seven hours um, the foundation is looking pretty good as you can tell like it looks absolutely flawless not really any smile lines which I'm really surprised about um, I do look kind of shiny not shiny but luminous it's not oily oily but it does look luminous especially on this side where I had the primer but I'm kind of liking it um, the only thing I would say is that it's not really good as a concealer I mean it does brighten but it's totally gone underneath and it's kind of creased and I had to go like this um, I don't really like when I have to do that with concealers and that's when you know it creases quite badly so that was a downside in terms of like highlighting try to just do the highlight there and just use your normal concealer close to the lash line that's what i would do it hasn't dried me out at all it hasn't faded it hasn't gone patchy or anything i'm actually really shocked right now i've even blown my nose and it's still on that's the forehead you can see it's kind of like worn out not worn out but it's, i've worn it for a few hours but it still looks pretty flawless i would say and do I see a difference between the primer side and the non-primer side? I don't know actually, it looks pretty same to me like with the primer and without the primer. It's, uh, the only difference is, is that with the luminosity this side does look a bit more luminous but not oily. Um, that's the only difference I can see with the non-primer side and the primer side. Would I wear these again? I would actually, I love these foundations but it's just such a shame with the like the range, the colour range. Like I want to give this, I'm going to rate this. an 8 out of 10 and I'm going to take two points down for colour range because that is really important for me but in terms of formula and the product the packaging is really cute like really sturdy um, it blends like a dream stays on really well um, I don't know it just makes your skin look flawless and I love it I love it so much but just the, the shade range is just awful for me and it is a drugstore product so it's very affordable which is a thumbs up for me in terms of the primer i am definitely going to use them even though you don't see much of a difference but they do this one's very hydrating and this one gives a nice luminous finish to your foundation without making it look too much or like too highlighted because once i use really intense highlighters you can see every little texture on your skin whilst this one gives this really nice healthy luminosity to your skin um i love both of them um so definitely going to be using these again they do have a smoothing one and a anti-redness one, which I didn't really get for myself. Um, I've got this with like two highlighter shades and um, the primer, the pink primer, the pore refining primer, the pink one. But I'm going to keep that for my 100k giveaway. I've literally been stocking up for my 100k. Like we're so close guys. Um, oh my god, I can't wait. And I'm doing a big one so that it can be several winners. So yeah, make sure to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know what you think of the foundation if you tried it. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. I'm really surprised and I'm really happy with it. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!